Hello, good peoples. Habari za weekend. I'm back, I'm back again. Leo itakuwa ni tofauti na video ambazo tumezizowea. I'm here today to give you a very, very powerful stuff. Sa, ambazo zitakusaidia kufanya analysis. Sa, badaya unaingia sokoni. Na unaingia sokoni kukuangalia long time trend. Nikisema long term trend manaangalia either it will be uptrend ama downtrend. Video ya leo nitazungumzia only bearish trend. Manake it is a downtrend. So how to do it? How do I how do I analyze? How do I analyze the setup? Leo ninachokufundisha hapa ndio ninachokutumia kufanya analysis how to hold the long term trend. So guys Tuna, tuna, tuna kitu kinaitwa top down analysis. Sawa, so, top down analysis tuna analyze pair kwenye higher time frame alafu tunashuka kwenye smaller time frame. Maana yake tunaanza monthly, tunashuka weekly, tunakuja tunakuja daily 4 hours, 1 hours, alafu tunatafuta entry yetu kwenye smaller time frame either 1 minute or 5 minutes. Sawa, so, kwenye top down analysis today nitazungumzia only 3 time frame nazungumzia monthly weekly and daily time frame so, hii ni bmwd top down analysis b stands for bearish weekly sorry so here ni inatakiwa iwe bearish weekly monthly na daily so guys so iwe monthly Okay, we have bearish monthly, weekly, and daily sequential. So, kutana na hii scenario, manake, tutokotu tunangalia opportunity ya kuseli tu. Manake, monthly time frame imesha, imesha align with the weekly time frame. Na weekly time frame imekua align with the daily time frame. Kama ni daily time frame ime align weekly and monthly, sasa unatakuwa kudrop down kwenye 4 hours, 1 hours, kuangalia je hizo type frame zako zimekuwa align with the bearish movement sawa so, today nitazungumzia only bearish movement video inayofuata nitazungumzia bullish sawa so, na scenario nyingine so to do in that ili uwe na highest probability setup ili uwe na confidence ya ku check setup hakikisha una combine na vitu takriban viwili ama vitatu Either fundamental reasons and the technical reasons. Two, two things. When you talk about analysis, we can combine the fundamental reason and technical reason. When I'm talking about fundamental reason, we can talk a little bit about the fundamental reason and the technical reason. So guys, fundamental and the technical reason. Okay, leo ndazumuza fundamental and the technical reason. Kabla sijaza kuzumuza fundamental reason, tu, unapaso kufahamu who is the market maker. So when it, when it comes to fundamental reason, who is control the market, who control the market. When it comes to forex market and current market, tunamzungumzia central bank. Central bank are the one who control the market, are the one who control the price of the currents. So are the one who control the price of the currents. Where it's gonna go, either go down or go up or consolidation. So, so, so it's not just like a buyer and seller are pushing the price. Buyer and seller they are not pushing the price. So, the one who push the price are central bank. Central bank are the one who control the market. Are the one who control the price based on the inflation rate, fundamental reason, interest rate. Or GDP or gross domestic product, a major trend. When I'm talking about a GDP and inflation rates, is only video ambazo na kujia ambazo tukulia kuzungumza ili combine in a top-down analysis. 
Today, I'm going to explain only about seasonal tendons. Kuna kitu kinaitwa seasonal tendons. Seasonal tendons ni itabia ya, ya pea wa ina obeyed. Ina, inafuata vile vile miaka ilo pita. Kwa fano kama 2021, no, sorry, kama elfu mbili na ishirini, pea ime obeyed hivi. Structure yake likuwa ikifika quarter shift hii na buy, ikifika quarter shift hii na sell, au quarter shift hii na ina, ina, ina consolidate. Kwa leo nita kuja kusumumzia, nita kusumumzia consolidate tendency and combine with the algorithm. When, I, when I'm talking about the algorithm, I'm talking about a, a, a price action, so pure price action. We don't, we don't have to use any indicator, we don't have to use any trend line, we don't have to use any support or resistance, we all look the algorithm form of the price. Tunangale algorithm form of the price. Price inafanya nini? Price in, iko hapa inafanya nini? Kwa nini iko hapa? What is doing, what is does? So, oh, lazima unapaswa kufahamu, kujua reason. Why are there? Don't just think kama price ipo hapa, manake there are too many buyers or too many sellers. No. Haipo hivyo. Lazima ufahamu reason behind. Kwa hiyo, when, when you see monthly is a bear, akikisha unatakuwa kufuka kwenye weekly time frame kuangalia hey, weekly time frame ime align with your monthly time frame ye is a bearish yes na kama ni weekly is bearish sasa huyu i positional trader or swing trader weekly time frame yako imekuwa align with the daily time frame sababu unaweza ukaingia hapa kwenye weekly uka ukaingia weekly uka sell ndio umesell weekly time frame unaweza kwa hold ya sala muda mkubwa kwa nini kwa sababu kwenye daily time frame we have a correction is underway ukisema correction is underway manake kuna some pullback or retracement inaweza either it's going to buy side kwa in, on this case inakuwa inaenda kwenye void of buy side liquidity to fill a liquidity void of the previous week or previous day so and then inakupa entry for this weekly time frame ili ya line na daily time frame baadaye ndio daily time frame inaweza ikakaa ipo in term of bearish setup kwa hiyo wenye daily time frame imekuwa align with the bearish setup hapo ndo unakuwa unaingia sokoni so vitu vya kuzingatia means monthly weekly and daily lazima ziobey ziwe kwenye bearish setup so guys so let's see what the seasonal trends inatuambia nini When it comes to seasonal tendons, leo tuna euro FX, sisi tuna, tuna euro index, sawa. So, euro index, seasonal tendons hii inatusaidia kuangalia pea miaka ilupita ilikuwa inaobey vipi. Sawa, so, ina, inaobey ina vipi na ina structure haka ikoji. Hapa tuna, tuna, tuna 20, 2020, 2020 contract ya yeah, seasonal tendons. Hii seasonal tendons inapatikana kwenye website ya MRC ya Steve Mauro ambayo hiyo huipati bure unalipia unazipata hizi seasonal tendency for the current of all tofauti leo nitazungumzia euro only kwa hiyo kwenye ile hii rangi ya blue ina inamaanisha ni 22 years ni contract ya, ya miaka 22 iliyopita nikija kwenye rangi hii hapa what we call it blood blood color inazungumzia miaka 15 iliyopita na nikija kwenye hii magenta inazungumzia miaka mitano contract kilopita. Kwa hiyo when you see this hii seasonal tendency ya hii miaka 22, miaka 15 na miaka mitano, hii inatusaidia inatusaidia ku anticipate direction ya mwaka huu 2020 2021 kujua kwenye kota ipi, aidha kwenye kota 1, Q2 au Q3 euro USD inaenda kuwa weak ama inaenda kuwa strong. Sawa. So, leo nitazungumzia nitaangalia sana kwenye bearish setup kwa sababu hii seasonal trend yenyewe inaonesha the long trend is a bearish trend. Ukiangalia kutoka April contract hapa hapa inaonesha April contract unaona imetengeneza high of the year alafu November ikatengeneza low of the year. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukaona what you can anticipate high of the year iko wapi na ukaenda kwenye chat yako unaweza unaweza ukajua kama huu mwaka mimi ni euro USD inaelekea ni downtrend ama ni uptrend when it comes to seasonal trends lakini it's not just the seasonal trends to lazima u combine with other reason as kiwepo mambo ya interest rates so interest rate differential inflation and gdp because the most product you will go value of the currency 
kwa sababu central bank lazima waangalie value of the currency kulingana na nchi husika sawa so, when price kama inakuwa ina sell ita sell forever it doesn't care kama kuna baya au kuna sela itakuwa ina sell tu kwa sababu ni price ambayo wameshaweka central bank wenyewe the whole years the currency will weak ama it will strong kwa hiyo when it come to seasonal tendency tuna tuna quarter nne tuna april tuna q1 with july tuna q2 tuna october sawa tuna q3 sa q1 2 3 sawa alafu huku tuna january ambayo inaingia january february march sawa kwa hiyo angalia kwenye hii seasonal tendency ya april manake ndio tuko sisi april mpaka july alafu tukitoka july tunaingia mpaka october manake sasa hivi tuko kwenye mwezi wa september okay ukiangalia hapa kuna april imeandikwa mazo manake hii ni q2 right this is a q2 hii ni q2 kwa hiyo tunaangalia april high April kwenye mwezi wa April tunaangalia hai kwa hapa sawa alafu tuna May tuna May hapa ukiangalia unaweza kuona May ni mwezi ambao Euro USD ina sell sana sawa ina sell sana lakini kwenye chat yako unaweza ukaweka uka, uka, uka order to sell mwisho wa siku ukapata hasara hakikisha una combine with the SMT divergent SMT tools ili kupe strong strong reason ya kuingia sokoni hey. Leo nazungumzia SMT ambayo ilitokea katika mwezi wa May and June for this currents. Ukiangalia hapa tuna May high this one. Na hii hapa ni na hii hapa. Yes, tuna May high alafu tuna June high. So after that imetengeneza high SMT from here to here. Kwa hiyo maana June, July, August up to September, beginning of September tuna anticipate euro ataenda kuwa weak manake itakuwa ni down trend sawa so, imekuwa ni down trend kwenye in term of seasonal tendency only sawa so, bmw tunaangalia in term of seasonal tendency monthly weekly and daily bearish movement kwa kama hapa tuna may to june imekuwa smt divergent manake tuna anticipate ukikuta kwenye chart yetu tukikuta smt divergent between may to june sawa so, na ime align with this seasonal tendency the strong reason to take that trade is a long term bearish setup guys long term bearish setup okay may june web seasonal tendency a lot price ika sell ukiangalia hapa tuna hii magenta 5 years contract imekuwa smt with 15 years contract so ambayo hii ni blood color imekuwa smt divergence na tukiangalia blue ambayo ni 22 years tukiangalia hapa and here we do have this price shift yeah yeah they are 22 high imekuwa shift with the 5 years high so guys here na hapa na tunakiangalia hapa pia 5 years high imekuwa shift with the 5 years high kwenye mwezi wa 5 na mwezi wa wa 6 wa 4 Let's go to the chart and see how it align together ili kupata a very very powerful setup ya kuingia sokoni kwa long term bearish movement. Let's go to the chart. Okay, this is a euro USD. Hapa tulikuwa tuna seasonal tendency ya euro, sawa? Hapa tumeangalia mwezi wa May to June. So guys, let's go to the euro USD. Okay, we have a euro USD. Euro USD. This is a weekly weekly time frame. This is a weekly time frame. Kama ni weekly time frame, okay. Wakati price ina 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 sell, not I said ina buy. So, ina buy from here, inafanya this movement ya kwenda huku ku buy. So, wakati huku ina buy imetengeza liquidity void of buy side liquidity. No, sorry, void of sell side liquidity. So we we do have an order book here. Let's see tuna tuna order block this one this is a bearish order block this candlestick tuna weekly bearish order block ambayo tuna anticipate with technical reason yes technical reason tuna anticipate price ikifika kwenye bearish order block tuna anticipate it sell so it it sell so it sell okay since gani ya kuingia sokoni what are the entry technique of the aid of this order block of this order block watu unachukua fibo yetu fibo una drag hapa 
sawa una drag ha kwa itakuonesha ent itakuonesha fair value of this weekly bearish order book kama hujaelewa hii fair value imetokea wapi naomba upitie video wa ent technique of element of a set up or institutional reference point ipo hapo nimesha iweka utapitia utaelewa vizuri tu how to set this fibonacci itakusaidia okay we do have this fair value of this weekly bearish order book yeah for this is a fair value so price ina ina buy hapa kwa to anticipate price ikifika hapa sawa up when this fair value ita ita reverse ita ita, ita sell why because we have a bearish order block here weekly bearish order block sawa kama weekly bearish order block okay na imeshafika kwenye fair value of this order block that this align with the daily time frame so yeah, ina align with the daily time frame so guys nimekuwa align with the daily daily time frame na ika support for this bearish movement tukaamini tukakojua sasa hii euro usd inaenda kwa week for this week for this week for upcoming two weeks or month ime align okay kabla kabla hujachora kwa let's separate this kwa hii fibo yetu ina ina same cool lead so we have this side upper side tuna tuna premium sorry let's put a different color upper side tuna premium okay we do have this premium zone and the lower side tuna discount put this color oh hii color mbaya sana itasumbua macho okay. yes tuna discount Okay, premium and discount so price ilipofika kwenye this equilibrium fair value ime hesitate ime kiss ika hesitate kwenye discount level ukiona price imefanya hivi ime hesitate na ime discount ina hesitate kwenye discount level of the weekly time frame sasa yeye yeah, hii hesitation ya kwenye discount imekuwa aligned with the seasonal tendency sasa so, imekuwa alignment with the seasonal tendency naenda kuangalia kwenye mwezi wa yes kwenye mwezi wa may and june we do have any smt divergence with this month according to the seasonal tendency inasema may to june itafanya bearish movement ikitokea any smt divergence ya may to june hiyo euro usd ita sell up to september itaendelea movement yake ya ita sell to september sawa so, September and then itafanya some pullback up by date ndio kuseli up to November. Okay, so let's go vertical line kuangalia monthly where is in May April May May high where is in May high? okay Okay Shoot the coin small time frame go to this another time okay mwezi wa 5 ni huwa yes beginning of the may where is may high yeah this is may high and june this one june june high so we do have a smt divergence here now he tools up okay this one so he ni may high june may high to june and this one high may to june so you, once we have this smp divergence to anticipate euro usd kwenda kuwa weak kwa sababu seasonal tendency inatuambia euro ataenda kuwa weak kwenye mwezi wa sita, mpaka wa saba, sawa na mpaka wa wa tisa. wa sita, wa saba, wa nane, wa tisa. sawa itakuwa ni bearish trend yeye imekuwa align with the logarithm ya market structure structure yetu first we do have this high higher ya may to june first mwezi wa 5 na mwezi wa 6 and price ina ina hesitate kwenye discount level sawa ime hesitate kwenye discount level the good thing may high and june high ipo kwenye kwenye fair value of the weekly bearish order block so guys hiyo ni very very powerful reason ya kuingia sokoni Yes, sir. weekly yes it align with the daily time frame 
na daily time frame ime align with the seasonal tendency it's a bearish trend so let's talk a little bit about a logarithm form okay ukiangalia okay, clearly unaona okay after create this june high imetengi that this movement ya kuja chini so it may clear this swing low it will clear to other that is a very very confirmation ya kwa katika mwezi wa sita tunaelekea downtrend kama seasonal tendency inavyo inavyotuambia inaelekea downtrend si maana ke daily imesha obey kama this month tunaelekea kwenye bearish trend si inaelekea kwenye bearish trend so so but i could clear this swing low ikafanya retracement up because this is a liquidity pool pool liquidity pool of buy side liquidity no pool of sell side liquidity imetengeza retracement ikafika kwenye this order block sawa so, na hilo order block la mwezi wa 5 ambalo liko kwenye discount level so this is very very powerful guys kwa hiyo hapa unaingia sokoni una sell sawa so, una sell why una sell kwa sababu we do have this smt divergence within this smt divergence ipo kwenye fair value of the weekly bearish order block alafu ina hesitate kwenye discount level and this is not tendency tayari imesha kuambia mwezi wa sita juu euro usd inaenda kwa week see guys inaenda kwa week sokoni sawa so, hapa tunazungumza seasonal tendency too the next video nitazungumzia other reason how to combine seasonal tendency with the other interest rate differential inflation rate and the gdp and the other fundamental reason sawa so, siwezi so, nikaeleza everything here kwa kwa video moja ambayo itakuchanganya na kukoroga. Kwa hiyo okay. This is a bearish entry. Kwa hiyo unaingia hapa unabuy. Why not una buy una sell? Why una sell hapa? You, you do have here a bearish order book ambayo imetengenezwa na bullish candlestick. See? Una sell hapa. Alafu price imerudi hapa kwenye discount again. Baada ya kurudi kwenye discount it can move away from the weekly bearish order block this movement and it tends to a bearish candlestick so but after tengenezwa bearish candlestick then it can find a void of set side liquidity why to fill this fair value fair value gap yeah it can fit on this order block a little bit order block yeah ambao ni bearish order block kwa hiyo una sell tena hapa again this movement ika ika sell pia nzima kama inaposema seasonal tendency euro usd after that ika sell june to july up to august haya bila kutengeza lower hapo hiyo ika ika move fanya movement ya ku sell okay tumeangalia kwenye daily time frame kama tunapotambia kwa hiyo monthly should be bearish weekly bearish and the daily is bearish kwa kama daily bearish imesha ku align with the weekly imesha align with monthly kwa tunataka kuangalia 4 hour time frame as 4 hour time frame align with the daily time frame kwenye this portion yes Yes. Hapa ndo unaona uchawi wa ipda au ipda run. Okay, you see? SMT yetu ipo hapa. Imetulia zake hapo. Sawa. Si for hour. How for hours align with the market structure? How how for hours align with the institutional market structure? When I, when I, when I say institutional market structure lazima niunganishe na weeks and body. It's not just a body to all weeks. Hakikisha unaunganisha vyote viwili. Sawa, so, for our time frame, see, umetengeza high. Sawa, so, high. This swing low broken again back here. See, institutional and central bank there is a order hapa we need to protect. Price imekuja hapa kutengeza kwenye June high, kwenye May bearish order block. It has said reason for this movement kuja china kuseli and then ika buy ten baada ya kubai imesha wapi we have this order block bearish order block so bearish order block so 
kuna said see this is a bearish order flow ambao ndani yake we have a bearish order flow this is a bearish order flow that is all. this is how i trade i look in the order flow that order flow imekuwa align with the seasonal tendency the seasonal tendency may align with the technical reason and order flow hapo ndo unaangalia element of trade setup unaangalia element of a trade setup order block bearish order block una sell and this one we bearish order block una sell sawa so, na hapa price ni away from this bearish order block una sell and here there is order block in a sale all movement in a sale let's talk a little bit about this one this one in higher time frame see price in front of this keep the range make clear this swing high no this swing low this swing low in act is a break see price break and the movement here yeah? to say this is a bearish breaker and in the layer movement here yeah? to say because babu we have a bearish order flow okay let's go to the one hour time frame this is how very powerful it is see beautiful beautiful clear clear and net kabisa this line is a fair value for be weekly bearish order block so this is a premium zone you could you want to discount this is our line here to smt divergence this movement is a clear swing low here so and then move to avoid of sell side liquidity yes let's see here how all algorithm work see swing high broken here this one Again, beautiful entry, beautiful re-entry of sale when you one hour time frame. See, one hour time frame, you may have align with the four hour time frame. And four hour time frame, you may align with the daily time frame. Daily time frame, you may align with the weekly time frame. So, weekly time frame. For example, let's see about the bearish trend and the bearish trend. the time frame is not in align with the seasonal tendency see this movement in the chain again i'm going to clear this swing low come back to to the move in the fill this liquidity void here but there you can pick up this is again this is an bearish order flow why is it the same so this movement it will against a weeks It was just a hunting too i hope this is required like one news why news i could tomboa when they buy because flow is going to bearish order flow we mesh align with the order flow so and we do have a bearish flow here price and the movement yake ya kuseli baadaye ikabai ndio mmeza kubai imeisha wapi we have this order flow inside of this long weeks we have some history behind we have some theory behind on this weeks instead of this there is a smaller time frame element of a trade setup ambayo ndio inapatikana hapo so we have order block here inside of this weeks if you go in smaller time frame like 15 minutes that means unaweza kuona hapa ni order block so order block unaingia hapo mseli its movement nenda paka so that because when you, one hours it may onesha correction is in the way kwenda kwa align with the four hour time frame kwa hiyo ndo maana it may buy hapa ikafanya bullish hapa ikafanya bullish here lakini this bullish movement imesha wapi here kwenye order block because it may hit this pool of liquidity here and hapa bale price imerudi hapa Eh hey, kama unaelewa vizuri huu mfano ndio nitoa katika tips model namba kama sikosei ni tips model namba 3 like that ni tips model namba 3 ambayo inazungumzia engineering external range liquidity and internal range liquidity this entry you can use it when extend this order block yako twice hapa kupata fair value of this external range 
engineering long liquidity. Engineering short liquidity, sorry. The engineering short liquidity. For this movement, but I've been a pool of liquidity. I'm going to clear this low again. This movement. But I could clear for the next. Bang. Up. Where? Back to here. Order. This order. Bit. Bearish order block. Why? Because we do have we do have a bearish trend. We do have a bearish order flow. Seasonal tendency is bearish. Weekly is bearish. Monthly is bearish. And daily is bearish. Now we are in one hour time frame. To Nangalia bearish opportunity only. See, bearish order block. To sell here. This movement, we may clear again the slow. And here. So, upper, 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 and half. And then come back here. Here, this is how a logarithm work. If the a logo weeks, see this weeks, long weeks formed by bearish candlestick. This is how magic comes from. See, price back to here, but they can elapse sale. Why? It's a breaker, guys. Right? This is a breaker, guys. When you, you draw the feeble from here to here, when this if the range, you will see this exactly like as in a 50 percent of this range i think see beautiful beautiful if the range this is how if the range work 50 percent and we have a breaker entry bang okay. one hour still support is a bearish trend guy one hour body in a support is a bearish trend in june so well, this is when you re-entry the june you have to Come on, my miss yapa S and T. My miss yapa, my miss hapa, oh hapa. When you long term trend, when you go to up. Why? Finally, this is the range. We have a breaker bearish she breaker here. So if you miss that, manake kuna this movement trend. Clear this low. When you go up on your order block, this movement. And the order block will look up on your equilibrium of the dealer range. Ya siku, ya tarehe saba, June. Tarehe kuna moja, June. Sorry, here. Yeah. This range. This is a very shoulder block. Say there. This movement. All movement. Again. Other block. This is a line. I'm going to think it is a breaker. When you're daily, weekly, price and hesitate. See, but I could clear this low. This one and this one. We have to corrections when four hours and daily. This correction, this one. We should sell the upper and they can buy. So August, the Canadian movement here, they have to sell. So in Andalusia, trend is a downtrend. Why? Because weekly is bearish, daily is bearish, and four hours is bearish. Week one hour is bearish and seasonal tendency in Sasema is a bearish. Because the seasonal tendency may align with the institutional market structure. So when I'm talking about institutional market structure, now the layer element of a trend setup only. It's not just a support and resistance. It's not a trend line. And so come on, on, on a chola moving average, Fibonacci indicator, Subiri moving average in the course, Dio on India Sokoni. We have to look in the big picture, you have to look how the price move, how the if the range move, so how the market structure, how does institutional market structure move. So, una 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 chukua tufibo yako, eh, au una chukua moving average yako, una cross, au una weka stochastic indicator, una una subiri ikuwa kwenye overbold au oversold. Of course, price itself is a overbold and oversold. Kiangalia tuko macho. You don't need to use an indicator to identify this is an overbought or oversold, see? Based on the NIPTA range. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go to the smaller time frame to analyze more setups. Let's see, okay. Now, let's see how AMD work on the 15 minute time frame or 30 minute time frame.
we saw how AMD works, guys. Depression. This is a very, very powerful stuff. use a vertical line where is the June? Yes, beginning with the June. Yes, we have the June line here. It's a beautiful, beautiful opening price, monthly opening price. Away from the monthly opening price, manipulation, range expansion of the month. Yes, opening price, range expansion of the month. You may want to open price, monthly opening price, manipulation away from the above the opening price of the monthly June June candlestick is a long weeks, long weeks above the opening is a manipulation. Ili in a fair value of the weekly bearish order block. So, of course, come on, miss the apple. Come here next day, June 2nd, June 2nd, this one. This one, open the price. Sorry, guys. This is an opening price of the June. Bang, AMD, manipulation, range expansion, distribution phase, continuation, AMD, corrections. This one, AMD. Below the opening price, is a manipulation, range expansion, distribution phase. Same thing. This one again. When the price below the opening price, a manipulation, range expansion. So guys, this is a, this is the power of IBDA. This is the power of manipulation. This is the range expansion. Expansion. This is a manipulation. This is a distribution phase. Any market work, AMD, any market in a Fanyakaz, AMD in a Fanyakaz, co market you yield. You yote, come on, we ni volatility trader, and by the way, one of my binary trades, or if you are a stock trader or commodity trader, use it, it work in any market, guys. This accumulation, opening price, below the opening price, the manipulation, bang, range expansion. How many pips? A lot of pips. It's Sabina Rana. Second day, Below the opening price, manipulation, bang, distribution phase. The same things on the second day. This one. I'm going to make a the range. Bang. Open price, above the opening price, range expansion is a manipulation. Same days, second days. What's it? How it works, guys. Order flow, so element of trade setup to my zone up with fair to my side imbalance based on efficiency. Order block, shoulder block, and other, you can use bullish shoulder block for, for, for just scalping setups and bazo otherwise, and okay, for corrections, it will end up in a major trend. Feel a bit devoid, but they can then a downtrend as a scalp method. Like an overall trend is a bearish trend, guys. Overall trend is a bearish. I'm going to have a we are see in September's little bit price. This one, see August in the buy kidogo, like an overall trend is a downtrend based on seasonal tendency. See August, this one. Like logo, I think it's a high September in a sale. It's beginning of September in a super chain. So 
kama inavyoonesha this tema tuna tunaendelea na tunje yetu ya kuchini after that my anticipation tunakuja tuna clear this up hapa tuna clear this law tunakuja ku clear up sawa up to november based on seasonal tendency sawa up based on seasonal tendency mpaka november Sometimes market can change gears anytime. So guys, sometimes market inaweza ika change gear, ika badilisha trend. Hakikisha una trade based on institutional market structure. Kuangalia all scenarios za kuingia sokoni. So just una draw to support na resistance, una una unaingia sokoni, alafu unasema uh, I'm going to buy because the price touch my my support twice, more than two times. Or you at that, that time so unaingia yeah, sokoni is not like that we have to think of the logic we have to think of the logic so think of the logic sio unaingia to sokoni kisha una combining na vitu vingi sana ili vikupe strong reason ya kuingia sokoni okay guys i think it was she up on this third i hope it very very powerful zimewasaidia sana how to analyze this setup na hivi ndipo nafanya analysis Okay, natoka kwenye weekly. Nakuja daily. Nakuja for hours, 1 hour 30 minutes kuangalia hizo time frame zangu zime align with the higher time frame. Sawa, so, based on the seasonal tendency. Sawa. So, the next video nitaelezea bear bullish setup sorry. Bullish setups ambayo ina obey with the seasonal tendency. Sawa, so, alafu nitakuja kuzungumzia inflation and inflation rate zote utazipata kikisha una subscribe on this channel ili kupata more, more notification kwa videos zinazokuja i hope this guy is very very powerful and will help you a lot on your trading career guys hakikisha how is raw unafanyia kazi you are doing back testing so doing back testing again again and again hakikisha una master this how market move how institutional market structure move kisha master hiyo alafu ndio unaenda ku apply on your real trade real fund guys kisha una master be patient guys be patient unaona kama hii setup ambayo nimekuwa nafanya hapa the top down analysis nimetoka kwenye week sawa kwa hiyo umetoka kwenye week una hold pair with that bila stress as long as stop loss yako ipo above that weekly bearish order book hope you wewe kama umeka huku juu una hold to position yako ya sell put why because it is in the bearish shoulder and then this is not tendency in may ally may and june so there is a shift of this market so about to end the downturn tunaenda kwenye downturn tuna shift ya downturn and so of uptrend guys but tuna shift a downtrend kwa hiyo hata all time frame may analyze umeziona kama this is a downtrend here hiyo the highest probability hii inawezekana kama ni year high 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 wiki tunasema high high year high halafu inaenda kutafuta low of the year high of the year itakuwa ni hapa sawa na tunaenda kutafuta low of the year so chini sawa of course inawezekana hii high yuko ilikuwa ni ipo ya the match ipo in this high yes mt ya mwaka ya mwezi this is in tier may to june for price the candelaria at sale thank you so much guys thank you for your time make sure una subscribe on your on your channels ili kupata more more notification of videos na zofuata hakikisha una apply a proper risk management guys hakikisha una apply a proper risk management na discipline ya kutosha follow your trading plan so follow your trading plan with high discipline utaona matunda don't rush things guys don't rush things hakikisha unapitia video one by one video moja baada moja na post hapa inakusaidia ukiruka video moja tu kuja angalia maana yake ume miss important stuff kwa so, sababu kila video naelezea kitu tofauti kila video naelezea different things different stuff na ina umuhimu sana kwenye markets sawa so, it's not just you can say ah he's talking the same thing some guys wanaweza kuambia this can this guy is talking the same thing again and again and again it's not the same thing it's the difference guy today today nipo hapa i already show you a seasonal tendency here ulikuwa unafahamu kama kuna kitu kinaitwa seasonal tendency so this is a tendency of seasonal tendency ambayo inapatikana kwenye website ya more search center ya Steve Mauro 
Unaenda kwa www.mrc sa mrci. Ukiingia hapo ni search engine yako, ukaenda kule, uta subscribe, utalipia kwa mwezi, utakuwa unapata hizi seasonal tendency zipo. Sif Mauro is a good guy of this seasonal tendency. Namkubali sana Sif Mauro. Kwa hiyo even ICT trader huwa tunatumia staff za Steve Mauro. So we respect him. He's a good guy. Ameonesha mapinduzi makubwa kwenye hii forex market. So he the one the guy who invented the bit market maker strategies. So we do respect him a lot. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Make sure to subscribe. Una watch this video over and over again. Hakikisha unaifahamu, unaipitia una back testing so at least 3 or 6 ma so unatafuta seasonal tendency unaipitia kila mwaka kila mwezi it ikusaidie ku hold setup yako in long term trend guys in long term trend is na na kushauri lazima na kushauri hakikisha unakuwa na account at least 4 account ya kustal kama wewe ni full time trader unakuwa una account ya intraday sawa na mtakuwa uwe na account ya swing mtakuwa uwe na account ya position kwa account ya position ukukutana na setup kama hii unaweka order yako unatulia hii ni position of setup unaweza ukaweka kwenye pia account ya swing setup unaweza ukawa tena uka scalp kwenye account yako ya scalp kwa sababu una, una, unaona kama this is weekly is bearish month is bearish kwa hiyo account zote unakuwa una 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 unachukua some pips unatoka unachukua some pips unatoka isipokuwa eh, account ya position ya trader tu unakuwa unaendelea ku hold position ya ya selling so guys thank you so much thank you for your time have a lovely weekend guys thank you bye bye